Dilly in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. Right, on October the 6th in Leicester, a Frank Warren show is taking place. And on this card, not only do we have Ahara Davis versus Jack Cattrall, but we have undercard fighter in Daniel Dubois. I'll say undercard fighter because that's what he is currently. Uh, Daniel Dubois, 8 0 with eight of those by vicious knockout. And certainly one for the future, or at least we hope that he hits anyway. Anyway, his opponent on October the 6th in Leicester will be journeyman Kevin Kingpin Johnson. And Johnson, he's changed everything. And this is what he said. He spoke to the British Boxing News where he's changed his whole regime. And he's more motivated now than ever. Um, he's changed a lot of things. So more mentally, he goes in there more confident and everything now compared to what he usually does. Okay. And of course, his father has just passed away as well. So he's using that as motivation to get Daniel Dubois out of there, should we say. So this will definitely be Daniel Dubois's toughest test to date. And I'll give you um, Kevin Johnson's resume in a bit, just so you can see the kind of people that he's been in there with. Anyway, so Kevin Johnson, this is what he says. I've been doing strategic work with Richard Dean in the UK, Gary Clark in the US and Christian Hiller in Germany. I'm experienced and working in new ways. The mental side is a huge part of it for me now. That's Richard Dean's expertise right there. I've never worked with anybody better. Look at the facts. Dubois has fought no one with anywhere near my experience. It's a massive step up for him. I've been here with everybody. He really will have to learn fast while he's in the fight itself, or he's going to have a bad night. But with Dubois, he's accumulated enough skills, abilities to mix at this level. I don't know. Does he have the skills at the next level? He definitely will not know until he steps in there. He will feel uncertain no matter what he says or what people tell him. He won't have seen what I will bring. There will be points in that fight where he will feel very unsure, uncertain and unclear. And that is a fact. I lost my father last week and that gives me so much renewed hunger to win this fight. To reiterate, Dubois hasn't seen anything like me and the world hasn't seen anything like me who has done lots of mental prep. To me, or sorry, the me who has done lots of physical prep and the me who has just lost his father. This is a new Kevin Johnson, but with lots of experience. I really want this. I will be bringing my A game. So that is Kevin Johnson's statement. So as I said, um, his record at the minute is 32 wins, 10 losses and one draw. Now out of his 10 losses, he has only ever been stopped twice. And out of his 32 wins, he stopped 16 of the opponents. And I'll give you like a, a little rundown of some names that um, you guys may have seen the American get in there with. Of course, he is six foot three, so he's uh, one inch shorter than Daniel Dubois. And his last time out, he lost on a unanimous decision points over 10 rounds to Andy Ruiz Jr. Before then, he lost to um, 10 and 0 Petr Milas. Um, in the eighth round, he got stopped in that one. So that was one of his two stoppages. Then before then, he knocked out in the seventh round, Francesco Pianetta, who of course was Tarsen Fury's latest opponent. Um, he lost on points to Kubrat Pulev. He lost in the second round to Anthony Joshua, when Anthony Joshua was 12-0. So again, that's his second and only stoppage losses. Um, he lost to uh, Manuel Char and Derek Chisora. Again, both of them on points and also lost on points to Christian Hammer. Um, he has beaten the Australian Solomon Humuno, who wasn't that long ago in the ring with Joseph Parker as well. And uh, he stopped Humuno in the 10th round as well. Um, he lost a points decision to Tyson Fury and see anybody else. Yes, he's beaten Alex Leopay, who of course was a former world title challenger in himself when he fought Vladimir Klitschko. And he knocked out in the first round Harold Skoniez, for those of you who may not have heard that name before, he's the only guy to have legitimately knocked down Deontay Wilder in the pro game. And uh, he knocked down Deontay Wilder in round number two. Um, Wilder did come back and stop him in the fourth round, I think it was. Anyway, um, Kevin Johnson stopped Harold Skonias in the first round. And he lost a point decision as well, 2-1 Vitaly Klitschko. 
So he's been around the block. There's no two ways about it. Um, yeah, this is going to be his toughest test for Daniel Dubois. But if Daniel Dubois can go in there and try and beast him and steamroll him, then he's got a very good shot at getting him out of there early. But a renewed Kevin Johnson could be a dangerous Kevin Johnson. Maybe. We're going to have to wait and see. This is Dubois' ninth pro fight. Um, we could argue due to his lack of amateur experience. And for me, I do blame Frank Warren for that. He tempted him with the money to leave the amateur game real quick. Obviously because he was worried that somebody else was going to snap him up if Dubois went to the Olympics and potentially won it, right? So he took him out of the amateur setup real, real quick. So Dubois is going to have to learn and learn fast in the program. So in his ninth fight, um, a guy like Kevin Johnson is actually quite a tall order. Now, I know a lot of people think that Dubois could be the, the next big thing to come out of UK at heavyweight. And he may well be. And hopefully he will be. But right now, this is all speculation, all of it is. Um, I know a lot of people say that he can beat um, Anthony Joshua now. He can beat Dylan White now. He can beat Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury. You know, people have, have, have just got ahead of themselves, okay? He's only 8-0. and oh, And yes, okay, he has knocked out all eight of his opponents. And he was supposed to, to be fair. Um, Tom Little, for me, that's probably his toughest test to date in my opinion anyway but now this one will be kevin kingpin johnson who has been around the block quite a bit i mean he's not a youngster at all i mean he is 39 years old but kevin johnson will not be phased by this one at all because he's been in there in probably in his mind bigger and better more experienced opponents but maybe daniel dubois could be the hardest hitting opponent that kevin johnson's ever faced potentially i mean there is like a bit of a debate at times that people say, well, who hits harder, uh, Dan Dubois or Anthony Joshua? You know, so anyway, we'll have to wait and see. And hopefully, hopefully, Dan Dubois gets the job done. Personally, I don't care if he's on points. I don't care if he stops him. I don't care as long as he wins and he gets that confidence and experience. That's all I want for him. Um, I'm in no rush to push him in to say, okay, maybe it's time you fought like a top 15 or anything like that. For me... I, I believe if he gets through Kevin Johnson and looks pretty good doing it, maybe take another kind of fighter at this kind of level, then maybe look at trying to go for the British heavyweight title, the Commonwealth title, and then European title, and then look to world titles. That's how the progression should go. Um, for me, I don't like the fact that Frank Warren has his fingers in the pudding shall we say with the wbo so at some point you can fully expect daniel dubois to be ranked quite highly coming out of nowhere within the wbo much like he'd done with anthony yard way too early for yard where he become the manager for the light heavyweight wbo and he's not ready so there's no point being ranked that high at all and for me go through the levels you know learn there's no point to rush daniel dubois i know frank warren's getting on a bit and he's desperate to try and dethrone Anthony Joshua and do everything that he can to try and get a world heavyweight title on his side of the stable. Hence the reason why he's probably thrown Tyson Fury in with uh, John Taylor Wilder. Potentially, I don't know. But anyway, good luck to Tyson Fury on that one. And of course, good luck to Daniel Dubois. And like I said, I do hope that he's going to beat Kevin Johnson. I think it's going to be a difficult night for him. If he can't get Kevin Johnson out there within the first three or four rounds, then it's going to be a long night for him. Now, this is going to be a 10-rounder. Um, I don't really foresee it going the distance, but Dubois is going to have to be careful on this one. It's all very well that uh, you know he goes in there and starts swinging for the fences, which he does. And over the last couple of fights, Daniel Dubois has been tagged, but luckily not by anybody with any kind of great power. Kevin Johnson does have some knockout power. Not excessive, but he does have it. And if he hits Daniel Dubois, we're going to see what kind of chin Dubois has. And uh, um, Dan Dubois, actually, it's his birthday today. He, he's uh, 22 years old today. So um, happy birthday to him. No, sorry, 21 years old today. So happy birthday to Daniel Dubois. But anyway, October the 6th, over there in Leicester on the O'Hara Davis and Jack Catterall undercard Frank Warren show. You drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up and subscribe. Catch you all on the very next video.